Hello, hello, fellow Virgos. How are you? I hope you all are having a great day. This is your weekly. Take what you need and leave the rest, okay? I'm going to start switching up things on my channel for right now. Instead of trying to get all 12 signs done on one day of the week and pushing them all out, I'm going to try to do three signs a day. So I'm going to have a regular schedule, and that's going to be uh, in the uh, description section. Not going to be today, but, but I'll let you all know when, when that starts to happen. Because doing all 12 signs in one day, working on the the, the uh, personals that I have to do and working at my mother's house overnight is kind of tedious right now. Uh, I just put a reading out for you all for the collective, so I hope you all watch that one. It's called What is Going On With You? And in that, I stated that I was supposed to start a job today. And it was a temp to perm job, but it didn't work out. They, text, they emailed me yesterday and said that the person who was... Uh, going to go on medical leave something happened it was postponed and here i am again without a job <laughs> so if you all can contribute to the channel purchase readings i really would appreciate the information is below even if you donate to the channel i will give you a reading so whatever whatever you all just decide to do to help me with this channel it will it will be greatly appreciated because look i'm still trying to hold on to my house and everything that is in my car with no income but it's like every time i get a shot at a job something happens to block me from doing that so i'm assuming that god wants me to concentrate right now on my youtube channel because that's pretty much all i have right now so we're going to get started here virgo messages for virgo please take what you need and leave the rest and i always say if you listen every now and again i say anyway march to the beat of your own drum just listen to the beat of mine all right messages for the virgo please Time this message. Take what you need and leave the rest. Okay, Virgo. Messages for my dear Virgos. Let's roll. We have the Queen of Wands. And we have the Justice card. Ten of Wands. I'm sorry, the Ten of Swords. So you're looking at something was done unfair. You're feeling that you've been treated unfairly. Okay. constantly okay you've got some stuff going on constantly here around you being treated unfairly being stabbed in the back possibly being being even lied to or lied on okay it's like no matter what it is what direction you take you always end up getting the short end of the stick <laughs> sounds familiar to me okay yeah being treated unfairly um by someone in particular possibly putting yourself in, in, a, in a toxic situation or being in a toxic situation with a lot of conflict here, but finding strength to find a way to surmount and get past this tower moment or issues that keep, that keeps on taking place in your life, you know, by somebody you care about. Okay. Somebody is, is, is supposed to care about you, care about what happens to you or whatever the situation is, but you may have to walk away from people. I'm hearing in my head, especially if you're if you're getting treated unfairly, you may have to walk away to get your equilibrium back to check to get your equilibrium checked, okay? Because it's the, the the stronger people see you are, the more and more they're going to try to take you for for everything you got. They're going to try to ruin you. They're going to try to talk about you, whatever it is, just to soothe their ego. Okay, there's always somebody trying to come at Virgo. Okay, Queen of Cups, and they're always worried about what you're doing. Instead of what they're doing. King of Cups, you know. Worried about what you're focusing on instead of worrying about themselves. Instead of worrying about their equilibrium, they're worried about yours. What you're doing, you know. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Virgo, please. Sneakiness. You you think a lot about the stuff that people have done to you and you know that you deserve more, okay. You, go, you, you are a go-getter. You go for what you know. You go for the good stuff. You go for the gusto or whatever. And people don't like to see you go through that. People don't like to see you shine. People don't like to see you boss the fuck up. Excuse my expression. That, to you, When you boss up, that, that, that irks people. When you boss up, people see the, the worst in you. The better you are, the worse they say that you are. Because they can't be Virgo. They can't be you. So they would, they would much rather see you down in the dirt with them than prospering, doing other things in your life, uh, doing what's best for you. So you got to figure out a way to get over that. Okay? Yeah, but it, it leave these people out in the cold. It may bother you. It may hurt you to leave these people alone, 
to stop fooling around with the toxicity from this this connection that you have uh instead of staying stuck and and, and stagnant in this situation cut them out just let them go because your intuition already telling you it's time to let them go it's time to move on it's time to go to other levels but the only reason reason why you stay so long in all of this confusion and heartache is because you love these people okay but you have so much more to offer you know it, it's like you're holding yourself back and everything in your life because you're holding on to a situation that you can just let go you know not saying to kill it or end it or whatever just walk away from it for a while and and find other other interests in your life other things or other people in your life that can make you happy okay because right now you're in a situation that can either make you or break you and you're stuck but and you're wounded you you have the tenacity to walk out of this the ability to walk out of it but you're staying why because it's because it's home it may not feel like it but it is you care you love Okay, it may not be equal give and take, but this is your home. This is your family. If this is what's going on with you, this is your family. But as quiet as it's kept, you're on a higher different wavelength than your family. Okay, and that's the issue because they don't they don't want to see you shining high above them when they're still down in the gutter. And I'm not saying that to, to cast shadows or negativity on your family. People in your life who have a certain way of thinking about things. They don't want to see you shine. They don't want to see you be bigger than, than, than you, than they think that you should be because of the shit that's went on, went on when you were young or whatever the situation is. They don't want to see you float. They don't want to see you, see you glow. Okay. You already shine without even trying, you know, and they don't, they don't like that. You know, it's a lot of jealousy because they don't want to see, they don't want to see anybody doing better than them. And they just want to stay they want to stay stuck. They want to stay in what they know. Okay. Virgo, for this week, what's going on with you, Virgo? We have meditate. And we have mantras. Saying good things to yourself. Meditation. Prayer. Going within. Saying positive. Equili what is it? I'm, I'm hearing something. Soliloquies. I'm hearing that in my head. Saying positive soliloquies to yourself. Being positive. Uh, asking God to help you figure out what's going on in your life so you can move away from toxic people and toxic situations. It's all about you. All about the Virgo. All about the Virgo inside of you, okay? Okay. So we have, fuck, shit is about to get real. Fuck, shit is about to get real, Okay. It says, fuck, you need your people around you. You need your people around you, but at what cost? Okay. And I have here, fuck fear. Okay. It will lie in your face. Fuck fear. It will lie in your face. And like I said, the shit is about to get real. You don't have to, you can love your family, but you can love them from afar. And then we have, it's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. It's dark and you can't see a fucking thing. Get your head out of your ass, pronto. Get your head out of your ass, pronto. You may think that that you can get past this with, with your family or whatever it is that's holding you back, whatever, whoever these people are talking about you, but you got to, you know, get your head out your ass. You already know what the situation is. You're going to keep on going through this shit until you walk away. 